Now, everyone knows the history with Goldberg and Triple H. Everybody knows the heat. Everybody knows the issues. Everybody knows how, honestly, how much they hate each other. But the fact of the matter is, if Triple H would have been able to compete, if Triple H would have been able to wrestle, I think that this is a match that we could have seen as far as it being a retirement match. And that is exactly what this is. It is a retirement match. And the meaning behind it is that if anything, I believe the Memphis way and the Memphis way is real issues. You know, reality makes money. You know, re reality makes money. And the fact that these two really do dislike each other, that there's real heat here, sort of like it is with Punk and Seth Rollins, it makes it more interesting. You know, it makes it more interesting. I know what this means, and I know this means that if Triple H, if, if Triple H loses, then Triple H technically retires too, but... I could also be confident, but at the same time, with Goldberg swinging the steel stairs, it makes your confidence level go down little by little as Goldberg keeps laying waste to Hunter with the steel steps, and now a knee right to the mush. Goldberg is dominating Triple H, but the referee was out of position. I don't know why the referee had to run to the opposite side of Goldberg to field that cover, but what I do know is is that Triple H has got to get himself back in this matchup because Goldberg is next to dominating the game. He is next to dominating the game. Goldberg gets introduced to the announcer's table not once, but twice. Monitors flying everywhere. Right to the ribs, a nice shot by the game. Sweeps the leg and chokes the life out of the man. He sweeps the leg and chokes the life. Inside cradle. Inside cradle by Goldberg. Inside cradle by Goldberg. Goldberg is trying to do whatever it takes. Goldberg is trying to do whatever it takes to make sure that he can defeat the game. Goldberg sends Triple H into the barricade. I, I think he was shooting for the barricade, but it, but settles for a bulldog and takes down the game. Triple H tried, I mean, Goldberg tried to send Triple H into Byron Saxton, but that's actually not possible. And surprisingly, it's more possible to send him into a glitch part of the ring than it is to send him into Byron Saxton. But Goldberg pops back up after an inverted suplex, but Triple H takes him back down with a big lariat. He takes him back down with a big clothesline. Power slam by the game. Triple H got a chair. Triple H got a chair and lays waste to the man. He lays waste to the man with a chair. Goldberg blocks the chair the second time. And in a glitch part of the ring goes Triple H. STO. STO takedown by Goldberg. Into the... I thought I was going to say into the barricade. No, a lot of repress. But a kick out by the game. <laughs> Goldberg is going after the forehead of the game. Slams him face first and you see the blood trickling out of the forehead of the game. This, my dear friends, is personal between Triple H and Goldberg. This is in fact personal between Triple H and Goldberg and one of the more personal beefs in WWE. 
between the man and the game. Goldberg blocks him, knocks him back into the barricade. Again, Triple H blocked him. The knee! Triple H with the knee. Spine buster! Spine buster! Spine buster by the game! Spine buster by the game! Into the glitch part of the ring goes Goldberg. Not once, but twice. Three times. Make it three. And now into the ring post. And now into the ring post. I don't know if Triple H thinks that this is a last man standing match. Or if he realizes it is false count anywhere. And I think he realizes now it's false count anywhere laying waste to Goldberg with a kendo stick. Goldberg brushes him off. Triple H gets draped over the barricade. No game is perfect, not even WWE 2K23, as you just saw. Again into the barricade goes Goldberg, I mean goes Triple H, and then Goldberg sends him into the barricade at the same time. These two are just enjoying picking each other apart. Piece by piece, these two are picking each other apart piece by piece. Goldberg's got a chair. What the what the hell do we need another chair for? What the hell do we need another chair for? Goldberg squirms out of the vertical suplex. Triple H reverses him. Triple H is now pulling away from Goldberg. As these two move to the stage. These two moves to the stage. Goldberg gets up on the shoulders of the game. Triple H takes him down, is stretching out the small on the back of the, the man. He is stretching out of the small on the back of, of Goldberg. The forehead of Triple H. He's bordering on a crimson mask as Triple H sends Goldberg up the ramp. Triple H sends Goldberg up the ramp. Goldberg is fighting back. Goldberg is fighting back. Spear! Spear! Spear by the man! Spear by the man! But Triple H kicks out! Triple H kicks out! Triple H is not gonna lose this retirement matchup. Goldberg eats it on the floor. Goldberg eats it on the floor. Triple H! Triple H! Triple H! Pedigree! 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 But Triple H can't follow it up. Triple H can't follow it up. Triple H goes down with the pedigree, just as much as Goldberg went down with the pedigree. And just as Triple H gets up, Goldberg gets up as well. Wait a second, Goldberg! The jackhammer! The jackhammer! The jackhammer! Triple H goes down, could this be it? No! Goldberg can't keep Triple H down, Triple H is wearing the crimson mask. Triple H is wearing the crimson mask. Triple H is unquestionably wearing the crimson mask right now. And it looks like Goldberg may be split open at this point as well. Stalling vertical suplex takes down Goldberg. Stalling vertical suplex takes down Goldberg and now Triple H is attacking the forehead of the man. If this match was going to happen, the only other person I could see stepping up to Goldberg is Brett the Hitman Hart. But I think those two would have killed each other. Genuinely, I think those two would have killed each other. Goldberg blocks him. Forearm shiver. Gut wrench suplex by Goldberg. Takes down the game. I don't know that Triple H can bleed any more than he's already bled, but Goldberg is surely going to try. I don't know that Triple H can bleed any more. STO takedown. STO takedown by Goldberg. Just pounding on the small of the back of the game. 
Goldberg is just pounding on a back of Triple H, and again he's trying to make him bleed even more. Which I don't know if that's possible. Wait a second. That's no, there's no way that's what we're seeing. Triple H has a cross face chicken wing. Triple H had a cross face chicken wing locked in on Goldberg. Spear! 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 Again, Triple H kicked out. Again, Triple H kicked out. Again, Triple H kicked out of the spear from Goldberg. Triple H brushes off Goldberg. Indian Deathlock by the game. Indian Deathlock by the game. You see how much blood Triple H has lost in this contest. You see how much blood Triple H has lost in this contest. It is unquestionable that the game it may be eventually at some point suffering from blood loss. The last time we saw a, last, a, false, a false Count Anywhere matchup. The last time we saw a Falls Count Anywhere matchup, it was, it was, um, it was Terry Funk against Ric Flair at the Night of Legends. And it looks like it's going to be a battle between a kendo stick and a steel chair. And the chair wins. The chair wins. Wait a second, wait a second, pedigree, pedigree, and I think Goldberg may have nicked the chair, I think Goldberg may have hit the chair, but Triple H got up this time, Triple H got up this time, but the referee hesitated because he was out inside the ring, and he had to come outside the ring, but Goldberg kicked out, Goldberg kicked out, Goldberg kicked out, somehow Goldberg kicked out. Wait a second, Goldberg's going for the jackhammer! Goldberg's going for the jackhammer! Wait a second, no! Triple H reversed him! Triple H reversed him! Spinebuster! Spinebuster by the game! Spinebuster by the game! We got plunder all over the ringside area. Steps, chairs, kendo sticks, and all in the like. But Triple H went for the announcer's table. Triple H went for the announcer's table. The game went for the announcer's table. Goldberg went for a chair. Clothesline takes down Goldberg. Clothesline takes down Goldberg. Triple H brings Goldberg to the announcer's table. Goldberg blocked him. Goldberg blocked him. Goldberg blocked him. Big clothesline takes down Goldberg. Triple H is measuring him. Triple H is measuring him. The high knee. The high knee. The high knee takes down the, the man. The high knee takes down the man. Rear chin lock by the game. Cranking the neck of the, the man. He is cranking the neck of the man. Triple H is on the apron. He's measuring Goldberg. Overshoots the lariat. Does not overshoot the back suplex. The amount of blood we've seen in this matchup is unquestionably a testament to how much these two men hate each other. Because the amount of scars that are going to be left on these two men's bodies after this matchup is going to make them remember what happened when they stepped in the ring against their one true rival. Snap suplex by Triple H, takes down Goldberg. I mean, I think at one point Austin and Triple H definitely did hate each other, but I don't know if Austin and Triple H ever hated each other as much as Goldberg and the game. Goldberg is back into this. Triple H blocked him. Triple H blocked him. Triple H... Drops him with the spine buster again. Triple H dropped him with the spine buster again. He's going for it again. No, Goldberg reversed him. I think Triple H might have been trying to drag Goldberg back to the announcer's table. You see the tiredness. 
tiredness. You see the exhaustion on the face of these two men from nearly uh, from 15 minutes. This has been a 15 minute affair between Triple H and Goldberg. Triple H takes down Goldberg through the announcer's table. He takes Goldberg through the announcer's table and has enough, has enough left in him to go for the letter of press. And this, my friends, is over. Goldberg lost to the game. Goldberg was given his flowers. Goldberg was given his opportunity to say goodbye. This was a retirement match for the man. And he went out exactly how he would have wanted. Or maybe not exactly how he would have wanted. Because I don't know that he would have went out on his... That he wanted to go out on his back. But... The fact of the matter is, he went out against a man who he would have made money against if they could have put their differences aside. The fact of the matter is, honestly, I didn't expect the match to go 16 minutes, but the fact of the matter is, it was the last time you will see Bill Goldberg in action on the channel, and I don't know if there was a better opportunity outside of Bret Hart, like I said, to give... Bret Hart, I mean to give Goldberg his one last match. With that being said, that is it for me. And if you want to see more unique content like this, you know what to do. Like and subscribe. I will see you in the next one.